Mic test. One, two, three, four, five. Three, two, one. Bam! The late adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Is everything fine? Sound my cone? Yeah, everything's fine. How you guys doing? Welcome to a new Bitcoin daily. Every single day, 9.13 Central European time, we do this Bitcoin daily tech analysis to see what's actually happening with Bitcoin. Like, is it good? Is it bad? Is it going to go up? Or is it going to go down? You know, because this affects all your alts. And I hope you don't have actually alts because alts are actually bleeding more than Bitcoin is bleeding. So, how you guys doing? Uh, I see there is not a lot of excitement in the chat. Only 100 people or something in here. Uh, so, I'm guessing, you know, people are starting to capitulate maybe a little bit. I know today is a green day, you know, but yesterday, you know, it, it was a dumpage. It was a dumpage, right? Uh, actually, Actually, we are hanging in third lecture. Uh, Devil is here, Bjornar is here, Good Morgan, uh, Debutin, uh, Richard, uh, who is more here uh, of the green name? Green names, Sasha is here, Sasha Honza is here, Johan, Johan, hi, how are you guys doing? So some, some green um, TA Funk Camp members are in the chat, you know, how you guys doing? Everybody doing fine? The sound got adopted, yeah. <laughs> bullish yeah looking nice ron is in the chat as well ron adopter is in the chat thanks guys thanks guys okay guys we're gonna just go right into the uh into the charts and see what's actually happening so yesterday i uh, said uh, uh over here yesterday uh, this is daily time frame yeah so yesterday over here right we are sitting exactly down here at the this support and i said like I don't think we're gonna go down that much more. Like I think you know, we are saying we should go a little bit up, and then we dumped really, really hard. And I was like, uh, people are thought, uh, probably thinking like, like this guy don't know, you know, what he's talking about. Yeah, we had the intro. We had the intro. You are late, Boyd. You are late. So yesterday we dumped pretty hard down here, right? And uh, it went all the way down to 28.8, uh, some kind of very low down here. But we, you know, recuperated everything, got back above the support over here, closed above support. And today we are going even higher over here. So, you know, it depends on what's going to happen right now. But, you know, there's still, we are still bearish. We are still in the downtrend. Low, lower, low, lower, low, lower, low. Like, you know, it, it's, it looks bad. It looks bad. The fact that we went uh, up here and got rejected by the resistance, uh all the way to the downside it is also very bad it's also very bad so you know there, there is not a, a lot of ways you can look be looking at this uh beside it's bad uh you, you know but uh uh maybe is there some kind of uh, uh you, you you gotta be pretty nah i i don't think so so Although it's it it is very nice rally to do upside right uh, all from the bottom. I mean I mean if you bought the bottom, you are you are sitting happy now with twenty percent at least on Bitcoin. Like other stuff is like up more, and I'm gonna show you that if you have been bought if you bought Polkadot uh, on Coinbase, you might have been very very happy. Uh, hopefully you sold as well, but I'll show you that it's very interesting. So what's gonna happen right now? So you can see this uh, moving averages right here. Over, uh, we are still a little bit extended from the ten and twenty moving average. So I'm thinking like, uh, and but we are getting close. We are getting close. technically we are not extended. We can just stop here and continue dumping down here, uh, just like over here. We we haven't even hit the moving averages to, on the top, and we just uh, retraced. So over here we might already start uh, going to downside. There is a resistance, uh, you know, the good resistance here at. Uh, 35 546 546 you know so that might actually you know already there give us some kind of a uh, uh, resistance and let's see if there are other ones yeah of course there are other ones uh, we got these very important ones right and down here so this one at uh, I think actually this at uh, 34,605 34,600 uh, give or take this one the 34,000. I think this resistance is a lot more important uh, right now than uh, the uh, 35,508 uh, But you know, we are getting there. We are, we are getting there and we are gonna test it right now We are not in quite yet there. I think we got a little bit more room to go up there before we actually retrace to the backside now what I'm looking for and what I told my patrons yesterday is I want this price action to go above the uh, four, uh, 20 moving average down here this is a 20 moving average if this down move is to stop the down move that we have is to stop and we don't fall through that uh, we gotta get up above the 20 moving average right so this 20 moving average this red line uh, right now we are above it and i'm actually quite happy because actually that shows right now that this uh, channel 
is in fact working and uh, we are uh, bouncing off uh, right now above the uh, 20 moving average on the 4 hourly time frame so uh, if you don't get rejected by the 46 45 number over here uh, there there is a probability that we might all, all go all the way up to the uh, to the resistance again uh, to the resistance. there's always that right but there are other resistances on the way on the way up and it's really hard to figure out which one will actually you know stop you will it be one of these two one of these uh, this up here some of the some of these moving averages you can see moving averages that they are confluing uh, exactly where this blue line is over here so you know we might go all the way up to some kind of 36 6 level but right now the move is to the upside uh because this is you know relief uh relief pop or, or automatic response that's wyckoff maybe would like uh, like to say look at the volume on the four hourly btc uh this is a four hourly let's look at the volume yeah on the dumpage there was a big volume and just like over here there was a big uh, two times big volume uh, you know over here and over here big volume on these uh, uh, these bottoms you know so they might be they might be decent uh, decent support they might be but you know this is the ultimate uh, ultimate line test line right now i think uh, because you know it was holding us previously so when we start going up upwards if we if we you know uh, come up here at uh, some kind of 39,000 level and get rejected by that that's gonna be a big rejection big rejection over here uh, but I'm not quite sure whether we can actually go all the way up there or not because all of these four hourly moving averages are lying right over here actually right over here around um, uh, 36,007 so I'm not quite sure whether we're gonna you know bounce above all the moving averages over here where is it I'm not quite sure whether we're going to bounce above all the moving averages and continue towards that. Now that would be best case scenario, of course, but but it looks pretty pretty tough to get through the, through that. You can see also all the moving averages are actually around 10 and 20 moving average. So if we are to break the you know all the moving averages on the four hourly, that means you gotta break the moving averages on the uh, on the daily chart as well over here, right? That's 10 and 20 moving average, uh, and it, it, that's this thing is really difficult to do, and this moving average is sitting around some. Kind at 36,200 uh, so you can see here that uh, the uh uh, previously they have been uh, you know giving us really uh, resistance on the daily after we broke it and went right below it again so once we start getting up here if we cannot break it if we get resistance by the moving averages down up here uh, you know that might actually push us further down so these moving averages might actually co continue pushing us towards the downside so we're gonna see how this actually plays out uh, plays out but you know it would be uh, if you bought you know the dip down here you know some kind of a profit taking might be actually uh, sound over here not financial advice of course but it might be some kind of sound profit taking and if you break on the upside you know get back in again or something like that uh, but then you know it's a short move to the top side short move to the top side either way right now i i don't see any more dumpage today uh i, I don't see it uh, like going something some crazy levels on it i mean on the four hour it, it can technically do that uh but there is there is no reason to. we are sitting almost on the on the moving average uh, sorry not on the resistance here and there are, there are few resistances on the way up but we are barely there so you know we can start going down but i don't think that we're gonna do that it's a daily it's a it's a green candle i don't think we're gonna go right down again um it doesn't seem that that way doesn't let me see one hourly how it's like one hour looks yeah it, it looks fine let's see the make the and stuff like that uh how this looks down, down here this was yeah this was one hour let's see four hourly here how we went down there uh let's see daily how it's working actually actually daily the daily bearish cross we had over here right bearish cross but right now it looks like it's turning up so whether this is gonna hold or not uh kind of depends kind of depends we're gonna see whether this uh, bearish cross gonna but i don't think we're gonna go more down today i don't think we're gonna go more down today i think mostly we're just gonna start uh, linger in this area up here before we actually tomorrow decide uh you know whether we get resisted if you get resistance by this uh resi because we are right now hitting the resistance you know if you're wondering if you, whether you should buy now or not it's a bad time to buy because you are just about to hit like a major resistance area up here right so at least you know, I, either wait until we get uh, above the resistance area or you get uh, until the rejection and then you know go down but then you got to this very very important uh, line of resistance uh, but if we break this support line on the downside and 
we start closing below down here, that's uh, yeah, that means that uh, for the move down is actually uh, possible. And that's what I think is gonna happen. That's what I think is gonna happen. So you know, you always got that. Anyways, guys, how's the chat doing? Do you got any questions? Barely or bar barely. <laughs> the week doesn't satisfy me. Could go down more. Uh, could go more down. Yeah, it could go down more. Uh, uh, the the week is just the week, like, but uh, but we closed above the above the support, so you know it's it's a very good it's a very good thing it's a very good thing, uh, you know the weeks you, you can see here this uh, uh, previous week here like it just pulled us right back up uh, all the way up to the resistance. So where is gonna do that again or just halfway there and go down again? You know we gotta see we gotta see how the bulls are actually doing this. Lot of orders twenty five to twenty seven k. Uh, yeah, order book doesn't matter, man. You have to stop looking at order order book. Uh, it's manipulated 100%. Like crazy. It costs you zero dollars to manipulate. You can manipulate, uh, you know, order books if you have a lot of money on the exchanges. Rising wedge one hour, Mr. Adopter. Rising wedge one hour. Let's see one hourly rising wedge. Thanks for that. Yeah, it looks like a rising wedge because this is actually a, a, a shorter. But I think it's more like this because of this. Something like this, yeah. Let, 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 uh, let's put it like this. It lo it looks nicer. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like a rising wedge. It looks like it's gonna break on the downside, but it's a one, it's a one hourly rising wedge. So we're gonna see if, if this uh, plays out, guys. But this is the almost exact same, uh, uh, same, almost exact same rising wedge that was on a larger time frame uh, over here. Do you see it? It's almost exact. It's almost exact replica. If you see see on the on the on the uh, on, on on the one hourly how this actually moves down right up right, and if you see on the four hourly, it goes something like this down up up right. So you can draw it on the four hourly like this over here right. You can see here sideways down up down up and then down right and here on the one hourly sideways down up down up down you know and you know to the rose downside if it plays exactly the same so these are this this is what calls called fractals and you know fractals are on all time frames they the patterns appear on all time frames all the time uh and you know you can find same patterns uh, everywhere so you can see here you know it's playing exactly as the bigger four hourly wedge right now on a small time frame right over here so we're gonna see if this actually uh, starts uh, one hourly so we're gonna see if this actually starts and break into the downside or to the upside uh, but right now like you see or, or already right now that we are uh, sitting on the on the resistance up here so you know this this you know probability that, that get rejected is is huge as we are pretty much bearish you can't be here today got to teach in five yo can't be here today gotta teach five minutes well nice that you stopped by at least man ralph thanks man it's a z exact wyckoff pattern yeah um, uh, people have been saying that let me just uh, do it like this over here uh just a second guys Bre no that wasn't what I wanted to do. Bra there we go. We can get back in. This is Binance. This is Twitter. And Wyckoff. Because I... Uh, uh, people have been posting that uh, photo, right? The... Uh, the overlay. Uh, let, me, let me find. I, I mean, somebody, somebody has, has to po post it, right? Uh, it's not this overlay. It's not that overlay. Wyckoff, let's just see Wyckoff. There it is, yeah, this one, right? So everybody's been talking about this uh, overlay over here, right? Uh, how it's actually following exactly by roll. And uh, you know, this um, this dumpage of, uh, this, it doesn't have the dumpage where, let me find the dumpage overlay. Uh, not this one, not this one, right? Ah, uh, whatever. Well, why why don't people just you know 
but 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 it, it is i think uh, you know accumulation phase and uh, you know the rest of this one goes exactly down to the dollar down here right now pumping a little bit more outside so people have a lot of pro uh, uh, people have a lot of faith that this is actually going to go to uh, towards the upside and for uh, you know explode to upside but yeah but i've see, been seeing it uh, falling wedge on four hour zoom out starting after big dump in May, Apex in September. Okay, let's see the big four hourly uh, zoomed out uh, falling wedge. Yeah, I can. It's actually expanded channel uh, falling wedge. Falling wedge for our zoom out starting after big dump in May, Apex in September. Uh, it depends on how you draw this. Depends on how you draw this. Like uh, I, I can't make it work. Like you have to do some crazy. It looks like a channel to me. No, I, I gotta see it to understand what you mean by uh, by falling wedge. Full moon tomorrow, yeah, full moon tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be live stream, guys. Full moon live stream, a special event. Uh, be there, be square. Uh, be sure to get there. Uh, but there is, there is, uh, maybe there is no, uh, there is also this expanding channel right now that we are hitting on the on the top side. Now I've been saying my to my patrons that this is actually this is actually a, a reversal pattern. This these falling channels are a reversal pattern. They they, they reverse to the upside. But but uh, you know when when you are uh, when you are a lot you know uh, they can also continue in the trend that you are already in if you are too bullish or too bearish right so this can actually continue towards the downside but they are, uh, they are usually uh, reversal patterns so expanding uh, or broadening wedges broadening descending wedges are actually you know reversing to the upside patterns and you can see here we went down went even all the way down started climbing up here and started going up here again yes it ignores some weeks and uh, first stop exactly as we draw it was my own noob analysis and uh, i'm not you know it's it's hard to make it work but you know that there, there might be something something to it like but you know you, you gotta find this second one something second one something like this or something you know but you you have to ignore pretty pretty much of pretty much of the job but it might be might be something to it it might be something definitely guys i want to show you a polka dot i want to show you polka dot did you see what's happened to polka dot guys now let's go to the polka dot and see what happened to the polka dot on the daily chart over here remove everything and i'm going to show you what happened to the polka dot and you know it, it's nice thing to know so polka dot on the daily chart over here this is binance uh, this is but this is Binance, right? On Binance, you can see here that, uh, you know, it, it did normally, it fell down, uh, fell more around, continue going, uh, no, sorry, uh, continue going up, going down, close down again, and today is going a little bit up again, right? So it looks all normal and everything from the bottom down here to the top here, it went something like 33%, normal, just like everything else, there was, um, there was uh, no problem over here, right? No problem over here, uh, but and today is going up, but on Coinbase, dot usd on coinbase this this the coinbase look at the coinbase guys look at this week guys look at this week <laughs> it's crazy it from the bottom to the top it went something like 73 percent 73 percent right so if somebody bought down here i hope they sold up here i hope they sold up here but i don't think that happened i don't think that happened this usually because you can see here that uh coinbase tried to start listing one two three four five five six seven eight days ago a week ago they started listing uh, listing polka so polka dot uh, dot usd uh, dot usd uh dot usd yeah this uh, pair is not uh, not very liquid it uh, there is not a lot of volume so that's why these big pumps you know can happen uh, so the price went down you know and when price went down people started buying you know a lot now order books are thin volume is little liquidity is low so when people are buying they are you know buying like crazy they don't know what's happening on other exchanges and they buy to some kind of crazy levels you know and you know what uh, happens is like you know smart money starts selling because you know crazy levels and it went back but it went it went up like uh 75 percent guys 75 i say 
I had I Poka and sold 800 of them. What happened there? Lot yeah, just low liquidity, just like a new exchange, a new listing. Like uh, there is not a lot. Of order books are very thin, so when people start buying an mass, you know, they they kind of overshoot the targets. You know, they don't understand the market. Market buys just buys very lot. You know. Good morning, adopter, and the chat. Good morning. Will the full what will full moon mean? Well, full moon is our very own. It's not for our very own, but we do use it a lot. We do use that. It's very nice. It's very nice on the daily chart. You can see here. Uh, tomorrow is a full moon. No. Moon phases. Moon phases. Uh, you can see here the moon phases. It's the best indicator ever. You know, everybody in TA fans club uh, is using this. Uh, uh, you know, uh, literally, uh, this is the most important indicator in the. You know. TA world right now uh, you can see here it is predictive of what's gonna happen like with 100% pr uh, pr uh, you know uh, predictions uh, it's pretty decent it's pretty decent it's worked all the way so far you can see here this pump over here uh, and right now what's happening here is that we are going from the new moon down to the full moon but full moon is happening here on the 24 that means tomorrow it's we are gonna get a new full moon and after the new new full moon you know what's gonna happen guys you know what's gonna happen guys we're going up on the full moon we're going up and tomorrow on the 24th we're gonna have a live stream full moon live stream I'm very excited about that uh we're gonna watch what's gonna happen we're gonna talk a little bit about technical analysis we're gonna see how this is actually gonna play out you know uh you know it's gonna be full moon party full moon party hey boss can you check bnb friday it will explode it won't explode if bitcoin goes down and nothing will explode bnb why would bnb explode on friday nothing it, it looks exactly like everything else coffee and hooks <laughs> can you check Kish. anyway anyways guys I came for the ta stay for the humor <laughs> I, I i hope my humor is not my, such moon very technical <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna write that on the on the uh i'm gonna write that on the uh on the thumbnail such moon very technical <laughs> very nice very nice if you touch 37.3 and dive back down complete the head and shoulder structure will be in big trouble what do you think later up to that's very nice if you go up to uh, uh the 7.3 and uh, you know uh, yeah there might be there might be guys 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 there might be head and shoulders here forming there might be head and shoulders of course we 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 do see it we do see it we are not blind we do see head and shoulders pattern forming over here uh we may, maybe should do this on four just to get some kind of wicks down here but there are no wicks down here you know you, you gotta play with it you gotta play with it you gotta play it maybe something like this maybe that this is the one you know but maybe it's also this one over here you know it, it really does matter you know and that's uh, that would be the left shoulder right uh, sorry head sorry left shoulder head and right now we're going up it doesn't matter how uh, how much you go up you know as long as you don't go up above this level up here so you cannot actually you know to avoid the head and shoulders you cannot uh, break the 40,700 you know so you, as long as we don't break 40,740 you know there will be head and shoulders pattern of forming over here uh, that's pretty much in the books right now uh, over here so it doesn't matter how much we go up as long as we don't break this level up here uh, we're gonna you know go down and as soon as we break this trend line over here because it is important trend line we're gonna dump down and this trend line let's see how on, on this chart over here because we got this really nice really nice uh, really nice support lines let's remove these as well uh, so you, you know the distance from the head to the neckline is the same as you know whatever you break down it's gonna be quite a heavy heavy dump quite a heavy dump down to some kind of 20,000 if we eventually you know go up and go down here and then break the downside uh, based on this head and shoulders right if that happens if that happens but it doesn't look like it's it's complete because you got a this as well over here so I, I don't know, are we just gonna cut it off here or what, you know, eh, kind of hard to say. Is Cardano gonna drop again? Uh, I got it at 104 today and watching the charts now I expect a big dip. Well, as long as Bitcoin doesn't dip, 
as long as Bitcoin doesn't dip, you know, nothing is going to dip. But if Bitcoin dips, I can tell you that Cardano and everything else is going to dip. I said it yesterday. I've said it in my Telegram channel. I'm saying it all the time in Patreon. Uh, this isn't time for hodling. This isn't the time for buying the dip and then waiting for the 60k. This isn't the buy. When we buy the dip now, we don't know if, you know, if we are going to get another dip another dip and stuff like that this isn't time for holding this time for buying the dip and selling the resistance on top right so right here there's some kind of resistance right up here there's some kind of resistance find some kind of resistance you know take your profits and if you break that resistance you might get back in again and you know, wait for next dip and stuff like that you know so right now it's not buy the dip hodl forever right now it's buy the dip sell the resistance kind of kind of on um, kind of time in the market right now Buy resist, uh, buy, uh, sorry, buy support, sell resistance, buy support, sell. there is no buy support, uh, you know, hodl forever right now. That might have been the case uh, back here, you know, uh, buy, uh, buy, uh, buy the deep hodl forever, but uh, right now the hodl forever part is uh, kind of shaky, so until we get some kind of confirmation that hodl forever part is actually in, in, in the books again, uh, you know, some kind of profit action should be, uh, be taking places at some kind of important resistance lines on the top. Look at a BTC. Why would big money be buying right now for us uh, for a second and stop? Yeah, big money is not buying. We, uh, we got uh, we got the uh, you know 50 you know the debt cross the debt cross and um, debt cross maybe for us doesn't mean that much guys for us the, the, you know debt cross doesn't mean that much we don't look at it that much but you have to understand for big institutions the debt cross is uh, is is very important uh, signal uh, for the bear market it's important uh, important signal for the downtrend it's important signal that gives out to the market to the investors and other people so investors are looking hey man do we have a bull because they don't understand tech analysis but they do understand they do understand the uh, you know bullish cross bearish cross you know golden cross that cross and they understand this over here so when they see that cross over here, that they are not exactly very willing to buy that. They are not uh, that willing to buy that. So that might be actually negative in that regards. 2k8 is cheap, but 1k8 is better, and 88 is even best. Unless you are very long term, then you are fine holding. Unless you are very long term, then you are fine. Unless you are, you know, you know, short term, then you're fine holding. Maybe I think you hold forever. Yeah, you can hold forever. Like if you hold forever, no, just buy anything, buy any dip. As soon as you get your pay paycheck, you know, buy, you know, in uh, 10, 20 years, you know, who knows what's going to happen. But, you, you know, how this is going to play out, you know. 0.26 XML, even better. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Buying deep in the bull market is good buying, in bear market is stupid. Buying deep in the, yeah, but in the bull market we are buying the dips, you know. In the bear markets, if you are buying the dip, you gotta sell the resistance. Yeah, yeah so, something like that, like, the hodling strategy works in the bull market, hodling strategy doesn't work in the bear market, you know. So, uh, we may get a bounce when that cross happens to trap bulls and go straight back down. We may get a bounce when that cross happens, to trap bulls and go straight. Well, right now that cross happened. That cross happened. So, you know, we went, uh, this is that cross. We went down after that cross. Bouncing here. But, you know, uh, are we actually going to go all the way up on, on something like that? It can. Yesterday I said we would bounce to 35 before dropping down. Is this still how you see it? Yesterday I said a lot, man. But 35,000. Yeah, 35,000. Like... There is a, there is decent resistance up here at actually at 34 something right uh, we drew the 34 uh, give or take 34 there is a 34 resistance up here then you got uh, of course moving averages here at 36 it's in the ballpark area right but on the four hour you can see uh, all these moving averages up here at 36000 so between I, I would say between 46 and uh, sorry 34007 was that 34006 and around uh, 37000 yeah 4,637,000 uh, this area up here, like somewhere up there, I mean, there are a lot of supports on every chart uh, and stuff like that, and a lot of resistance, so which resistance is going to be like important one or not, but right now we might be already looking here that we are actually uh, getting very close to the, this first resistance 34,600, which is actually very important, and somebody mentioned that this is some kind of a rising wedge, so you know, there is a probability that this might actually just uh, start dropping uh, to downside as well already now, so we are already right Right now getting to the resistance just to keep that in mind it's funny how this dip makes people think we are not in the downtrend <laughs> 
yeah it is funny man it is very funny how uh how maybe if we have the chat over here you know it's gonna be a little bit more lively and can can you can you put the chat and say where is the chat Ah, it doesn't matter. Ah, we just gonna we just gonna have it here on the other side. On week, there, morning TLM, morning chili ciao. How you doing? Also join Patreon for more content and crash course. Michael is doing his job, man. Michael, good job today. Good job. I'm paying you well. I'm paying you well. Michael, are you still employed? Well, he's still here, man. We had to resolve some issues, but it looks like he's doing his job right now. It looks like he's doing his job right now, but we'll see how it uh, performed. Usually he's just like, hey man, your mic, like, you know, I, I don't want to go there, you know, I don't want to go there, but you know, right now it looks like, it looks like he's doing his job right now, okay? So Michael, nice. Now everybody see the chat anyway. Yeah, everybody see the chat anyway. No need, to, no need to have the chat on the screen. No need to have chat on the screen. Good job, Mike. Good job, Mike. Mike is doing fine. Mike is doing fine. Okay, guys, that's it. Uh, I, I think we are hitting already right now, starting to hit some kind of resistance. So be careful what you do here. Be, uh, between 34 and uh, 36, 37,000, give or take. Uh, this is a, you know, a resistance area right now. So we went down, sure, we are going up. There is a, a rising wedge up here that might actually break the downside. But th this resistance is bothering me, really. And even after you're above that resistance, you don't have to go that much up. You don't have to go that much up to get up to the next resistance at 39,000, uh, you, you know, and stuff like that. And then, you know, it's a big resistance up here at 40,000. So right now, I know it's it was nice buying the dips up here, but, you know, be careful what you're doing up here because a lot of resistance is coming in. So, you know, this can all all the time just turn turn. the... Uh, thanks, boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good for you, man, good for you. And don't give me the, those tears, man. Don't give me those tears, you know. I'm not giving you a raise, you know. Is it possible to reach 250 after such a dip? Yeah, of course, anything is possible. Probable right now. Eh, it's gonna take a little while. But, you know, it, it takes it takes a while to get, go from the bearish momentum to the bullish momentum, you know, to get the uh, the bullish feeling back into the crowd. Uh, we are not quite there yet. We are not quite there yet, you know, but that's gonna happen. See what happened on GME, guys. See what happened on GME. GME... GME USD, let's see all stocks, GME comparison, this is GME, uh, I'm gonna show you what happened to GME guys, some GME, you remember the GME, GME was nice guys, GME was nice, let me just remove all of this over here, so you can see here when, and you know, the price was going up, everybody was talking about, uh, you know, GameStop, and GameStop went up to the moon, and then, uh, you know, we said like, yeah, this is done. Of course, it was done. It went down 90, 80, 90 percent. How much is this? It went down. Uh, it went down something like uh, a 90 percent down. This is a 90 percent down. So people are, people then don't know how to see how much down it is. They they think like it can go down here. Sure, it can go down there. Mirfad, uh, Iranian, 20 bucks. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I don't know if it's Iranian, but ENR, 20 bucks. I appreciate the 20 bucks. Thanks, man. All the money is good money. So we went down over here, 90% down. Then we went back up. Went when it's coming sideways uh, uh, motion over here. Uh, got into this, uh, you know, uh, this... Uh, what's it gonna call it? This uh, triangle. Went out of the triangle. Right now going maybe for some kind of... Uh, some kind of a retest before we actually bounce out. But if this actually breaks the down, so it's gonna be very bad. But if the retest actually happens, it's gonna be very good. But there is no... Right now, even though we went back up again, there is no bullishness like there was before over here, right? Uh, there is there is not... There is not... Uh, no such hype. So even though... You know, technically, GameStop might be bullish. You know, people are still like, still sitting on the sidelines, like, oh, and we are, we are just crumb. Like, it, it, the bullishness is starting to come, but it takes time to come. It's only after, I think, after we break, uh, it breaks like all time high that, you know, the real bullishness will come back in for the GameStop. And the same thing goes here for the, for the BTC, right? Uh, even though if we can start going up a, a, a little bit here and stuff like that, like, you can get a little bit bullishness, but, you know, uh, the mainstream, the normies, they, they will still be waiting waiting like after we get like some kind of 50 60 numbers you know to see the real bullishness in the market but you know 
It's gonna take what? Indian rupee, yeah, Indian rupee, man. Thanks for Indian rupee. Sorry about calling it. Ciao, late adopter. Do you think that we are in the bear market? Greetings from Italy. Uh, I don't know, you know, you can, you know, if it quacks like a duck, you know, you know the saying. Uh, but we are at least in a very strong downtrend, so uh, it's hard to say whether we are definitely in the bear market or not. But, you know, if it quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, uh, shits like a duck, you know. How many more candles should I watch on BDC to confirm if it's a holding support? It's been trading sideways the last six hours in our indicator. Well, watch the four hourly guys, watch the four hourly. Four hourly is very important. Uh, very nice to wait to see what's gonna happen. Uh, watch the four hourly and on the four hourly time you wanna look at this 20 moving average. This 20 moving average, really important moving average. And right now we are above the 20 moving. If we start falling below the 20 moving average, I would just say like uh, be careful, be very careful. I mean, it can it can do something like this over here, but if you start falling below the 20 moving average, uh, I would be I would be worried. I would be worried. Anyways, guys, that's it. I got a stuff to do, man. I got a stuff to do. Anyways, thanks guys for coming here. 9:30 Central European time every single day, and tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys, tomorrow is gonna be a full moon, uh, a live party uh, here on the chat. So, tomorrow, live stream uh, later that evening, it's gonna be a you know, full moon. So, if you are TA Fans Club member, you gotta be there. You gotta be there, guys. You gotta be there. It's gonna be very fun. It's gonna be very exciting. I uh, hope to see you there. And, you know, now that we are finishing this, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the couple of minutes over here in the chat. Uh, Thanks, thanks for being here, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I think I think the, the, the big dump is finished right now, and right now we are having some kind of slow, uh, slow move to the upside. Enjoy, enjoy the music, guys. Enjoy the music. I can see, blame nature, what don't you? I make no apology, I'm in love with a meme. A battle as real as a dollar, and it makes me wanna scream. I wanna be a millionaire, I'm not weak or lazy. I'm like electricity, I'm the path of least resistance Always lights the way for me, I'm in love with a meme About as real as a dollar and it makes me wanna scream I wanna be a millionaire Go Dutch, Dutch, Dutch See you guys, bye-bye.